Welcome to my channel. In this episode we have a computer that is something special to me. It's an Amiga 500 Plus. You see here. This Amiga is a donation from a friend of mine here in Germany. And this Amiga 500 has some issues. So let's try if we can fix this. But enough talk, let's go to work. So before we start fixing this, I have this connected to the TV and we switch this on and see what it does. So fingers crossed and start. We get a sync signal and nothing. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. So, we're now on the bench and you see it's a little bit dirty, but it's in very good shape. No broken pieces. All in good shape. A little bit cleaning. From the case and then it's good. So let's open it up. So here we are, the keyboard is a little bit dirty, but in good shape, also too, no rust on the keyboard, on the metal shielding some rusty spots, but nothing serious. Shielding is open. And here you see a battery damage. Zoom a little bit in. There's battery damage. I open up this before. Remove the battery and clean this a little bit with uh, white vinegar and a little bit of IPA. So that's the damaging from the battery as it stops. And that's the place where we're looking on this episode. Oh, then we take this out, a little bit dust, nothing fancy, no damages, no discoloration. And here we have the main board. Now we remove the standoffs. And then we can get the PCB out of the lower shielding.
Ja. Plastic sheet. And the PCB is out. A little bit of corrosion in this lower shielding. But nothing serious. You see here the main damages, here some green on this PCB, twisted around. Here's some corrosion from the upper side, but so at all is in good shape. So now we take a closer look on this area. So here we have this damaged area. You see here and here. And the first thing we do is to desolder this one. Is in 74LS244N. And then we clean this area, clean this area here uh, with IPA. And then we check the traces here in this area. And then we solder a new socket on this and replace this. So let's desolder this chip. Now the chip is out and there is a lot of crust and corrosion under this, under the chip. Clean a little bit with IPA. Now this area is almost clean. Now the board is clean and 
it's time for testing traces. Traces are good. Or if we need some wire. Multimeter, continuity mode. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, that's not good. It's good. So we have some wires to fix this. So we have now the damaged area on this board. I tilt this a little bit. So you can see better. This traces to this holes are damaged and at first I soldered the socket in I soldered the socket in and then we solder some wires and then we try if we get a better test so if you see here the socket is in and I botched some wires on the underground and now the damage traces in this area are fixed. So we make a little test now. But I don't believe that this one is working. We have some, 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 some damage here in this area too. And this vias with these traces here is connecting to this area. So U35 and U32 and to the RAM and if the RAM is not working we're getting we're getting nothing so make a little test and then we will see so you see I have disconnected and also I've populated the 74LS244N and now we try We get a sink, but we have still a black screen, 
still a black screen. So um, back on the bench and then we test the other wheels and traces I show you before. So next step on this repair is this area. I test these wires or these traces and this via with this trace and I think some of these traces are bad. When I found some bad trace I soldered a wire from the via to the other side and then we test again. So I have found one broken trace here. I sewed it in the wire and now we made another quick test. And we get nothing. So now we have to figure out what's wrong next. After this bad test I looked over the board uh, for other for other issues and I will show you what I found. I saw some corrosion under the gary and I lifted the gary out and you see here the socket is uh, falling apart. So we desolder the socket and solder a new one in and I have to check this Gary. For this I uh, grab my uh, working Amiga 500 and test this Gary. So now we desolder the socket from the Gary. Now we try to lift this up. does not work. So we snip this socket apart. It's damaged. Next step, I desoldered the Gary chip, also the socket from the Gary, and this pin header here. With here some corrosion, and here, here's one trace damaged. I show you in a minute. And here was lot, lots of crusty corrosion. On the, I checked the traces here, and it's all good. So I checked the rest of the traces here. This one here is ripped off and the rest of the traces are also good. The one thing we need to solder is here. So i show you in a minute. So here we have the Gary chip. The part on the PCB where soldered was soldered socket. You see here, this trace is ripped off, and this trace goes here from this via to this hole to this 
capacitor. So I desolder the wheel, so you can find it on the back side. Solder a wire from here to here, and then from here to here. And then I solder, before I solder the socket on, I have the socket here. The holes are free. So. And then we can fix the trace. And then give another try. The other section on the PCB is here. This part, I desolder the, the pin header. Check this part after cleaning, and all traces are good. There was a lot of uh, corrosion on this, and so uh, we can solder this pin header, the new pin header, on this place. So let's do this. So if you see here, the socket is soldered in, the pin header is soldered in. We have here the botch wire soldered in. So we repair the trace. And now the last thing we have to do before we test is to put the Gary back in place. So and now we put this on the TV and make the next test. So now it's time for the next test. And yeah, you know, let's start it. We got a sink and Nothing. We got still a black screen. So this is the end of part one of the repair from the Amiga 500 Plus. I've checked and fixed damaged traces and changed the socket of the Gary. Um, in the next part we we'll find out why the board still does not work. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel. And I see you in the next one.